Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. And today's video, we're actually gonna be going over the new week 10 leaked challenges for Fortnite Battle Royale. I know that you guys like getting ahead of this news and kind of like to plan out how you're going to actually complete these challenges and like to get the latest information. So I've got that in today's video just for you. Uh, before we do get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guys, videos, all that kind of stuff, including my Season 4 Battle Pass giveaway. I've actually got one going on right now. Go and check out my last video for all of the information on how you can actually win some money to purchase yourself a season 4 battle pass absolutely free paid by me and now anyway let's get into today's video so as always the leak the week challenges have actually been leaked again and this time they are for the last week of of the season three, which is week 10. And these challenges are actually pretty easy in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I definitely cannot wait to actually get my hands on some of these, especially one that got leaked a long time ago, which should be pretty interesting to actually take screenshots with. So without further ado, let's get into the week 10 challenges. So the first one that we're going to be seeing is search chests in fatal fields. For this challenge, we're gonna have to search seven chests in fatal fields, which will actually get us five battle pass stars so it's actually not that hard at all to be honest uh, other than that it's probably going to be a little bit difficult when the week 10 comes because obviously everyone's going to be going down there to actually grab them but you know what if you're one of those people who really like to get kills when people are trying to complete challenges then fail fields will be for you because you'll rack up around about five or six kills before you even come out of there so that's pretty cool too now the next one that we're actually going to be seeing is deal headshot damage to opponents and this is going to be 250 worth of headshot damage. Now to me personally this shouldn't be that hard if somebody's got like shields on their head like you know if someone's actually activated like 200 uh, of their shields and health you know have 200 health then if you headshot them with a sniper rifle and kill them then you're pretty much going to you know pretty much have the majority of this challenge done and then all you're going to need to do is get like 50 points worth of headshots with the with it like a pistol or something you know so that will actually get you five battle pass stars so that's actually not that hard either but you know i can imagine that some people will find this a little tiny bit difficult especially those on mobile devices now the third challenge is going to be search a chest in different named locations. For this challenge you're going to have to search 12 chests in completely different named locations. Uh, so this is places like, you know, Loot Lake, uh, Greasy Grove, Tomato Town, it's all the places like that. And uh, this will actually gather you 5 Battle Pass stars. Whilst I've actually just done that, I actually want to ask you guys a quick question in a second, right? You know the way it's called Tomato Town? But there's no town hall, there's not many houses, so how can it really be called a town when it's not really a town? Do you think that it should just be called Pizza Place because that would make more sense? Because it really aggravates me when I see a Tomato Town and I know it's not a town because there's literally one house on the outskirts of Tomato Town. It really annoys me. I just wanted to see if that annoys anybody else or if I'm just being picky. But uh, yeah, comment down below if you agree with me to change Tomato Town to Pizza Place, you know, because it's PP. T -t you know, yeah, anyway, anyway, let's get into the fourth challenge, which is going to be skydive through floating rings. And this is going to be 10 rings, but I can assure you guys right now that there is an actual replay glitch with the replay editor where you can see all of these little rings around the map. And there's a load of them. So this shouldn't actually be that hard for you. And especially because there's actually rings where there's um, the higher up you are, there's big rings, and then lower down, there's small rings. So it's completely fine. You're going to be able to get like two rings or three rings every time you skydive uh, down from the battle bus. So that shouldn't be too hard, to be honest. But, uh, you know, we've got to get ten of those, so it should take us like one or two games, maybe three games at the most. Now, the next one is going to be another little treasure chest kind of thing, and this one is search between a stone circle wooden bridge and a red RV. This is apparently a hard challenge and all you have to do is find one battle pass kind of icon thing floating on the map in the middle of those places and this will actually get you 10 battle pass stars. I actually already know the location for this guys so please feel free to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because as soon as the week 10 challenges come out I will have a video on this as soon as possible so fear not I will have the video guys for all of you. Now the second to last challenge is going to be eliminate opponents. This is apparently a hard one and it is 10 opponents that you have to eliminate for 10 battle pass stars. Again, 
This is actually not too hard for me personally, but I can imagine those of you who don't really like get as many kills or you know you're new to the game, you may have a little bit of difficulty with this. So uh, yeah, the best of luck to all of you guys on getting that one. Other than that, the very last one that we're going to see is eliminate opponents in Pleasant Park, and this will gather you 10 Battle Bass stars for three kills in that area. Again, another pretty easy one, but uh, it just depends who you come up against, I guess, or, you know, how new you are to the game, I, I, I believe. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much been it for all of the week 10 challenges for Fortnite Battle Royale. This is actually the last week of Season 3, and then we're going to hear some more news about, you know, Season 4, and hopefully have our eyes on some, you know, new concept arts, new skins, new leaks, all that kind of stuff, and uh, I will have that all on the channel for you guys as soon as I get their information, so please feel free to subscribe, do not miss out guys, and uh, yeah, I guess just have an awesome day, enjoy the week 10 challenges guys when they come out, and uh, keep an eye on the channel for more Fortnite videos, and uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.